are we going to have um, Dana be checking our our um, tags for whether it's a, a knit blend or a polyester blend or does silk count? I mean, this is this is ridiculous. Lady, you're right. It is ridiculous. It is absolutely so why are you doing it? that we even have to talk about it on the House floor. I agree. In so why did you bring it up? Chamber. Why should we talk about something like this? It is absolutely ridiculous. You, you would think, brought this you to the think, floor, lady. You, you tell me. I spend $1,200 $1, on a suit and I can't wear it in the people's house because someone who doesn't have the range tells me that it's inappropriate. Decorum is more than just rules. It is respect for each other, respect for the institution, and respect for this magnificent building. I have felt compelled to offer this amendment, which cleans up some of the language in Rule 98 by mirroring the previous language in the gentleman's dress code. I think we're being quite pedantic here by making rules so petty um, and what it will ultimately lead to is the disenfranchisement of folks. For example, they don't make jackets or blazers for women who are pregnant. That could be very uncomfortable, particularly in a pro-life state. I don't want the doorman to be walking around while we're engaging in important debate trying to figure out whether or not something is, is a blazer or while someone is in the middle of talking, uh, being able to speak on behalf of their district, someone thinks it's funny to, to go get a doorman or, or to point of order them in the middle of speaking because they may not understand the difference between a blazer, an Afghan, uh, a jacket, or something else. This is not what the taxpayer is paying, paying for us to do. There are some very serious things that are in this rule package that I think we should be debating, but instead we are fighting again for a woman's right to choose something, and this time is whether she, how she covers herself and the interpretation of someone who has no background in fashion. So I'm curious about um, why you felt so strongly about this, um, considering uh, the upper chamber does not have this restriction and they seem to be able to do the people's business just fine with decorum why are we different well one we're not the senate two right. this has always been a house rule and if we're going to have a house rule we need to abide by that house rule lady do you think that every single law we make in this building we should be making the laws based on the laws that are already in place We've been doing it this way all along, so we should continue doing it and maybe restrict it further. There are a lot of ways we could break decorum in this room, but a woman, what she's wearing, that is ridiculous. I have personally been called into question offline about what I was wearing, even though I was following rules. But it was some gentleman in this, in this room who decided that they wanted to question what I was wearing. You know what it feels like to have a bunch of men in this room looking at your top, trying to decide whether it's appropriate or not? You would think that all you would have to do is say, dress professionally, and women could handle it. You would think elected would officials think. could handle that. You would think, but no, we're, we're walking around men, here in sequins and velveteen, men, to the ladies' point, so... What is appropriate, and why do you get to decide? We need to get over the sequence. That's ridiculous. All right, so men are required to wear a jacket, a shirt, and a tie. Correct? And if they walked in here without a tie, they would get gaveled down in a heartbeat. Should we be if required to wear ties, lady? If they in without a jacket, because they, they would are? get gaveled down in a heartbeat. So we are so interested in being equal so then we should, why didn't you write a rule that we w should wear ties too? If you want to be right, equal, let's go for it. Equal, equal, equal playing ground. Let's all wear men's suits in this room, lady.